Hello everyone, uh, this is Sierra. Um, as promised, I said I would do a video of my collection. I have to apologize for my voice. I have somehow lost my voice on Friday and it's not back yet. So um, I got some water here and hopefully we can just plow through it because I've been promising this video for like a couple months now. So, um, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to go through by brand and then I'll, um, <clears throat> because most of my planner collection is by a brand called Jillio Frenze. They are based out of Brussels. Um, you can read a lot about their process and where, how they, um, manufacture or otherwise create their planners on their website, um, where they source their leather um and that sort of thing i have recently just got in an a5 in their lotus it's a gorgeous light pink color um i think it's lighter than blush pink i think it's like a i don't even know like just a light light um pastel i mean you can see this compared to the ballerina lush um compare it to the rosa Compare it to my nails, which are more of like a Barbie pink, or like a lighter Barbie pink. Um, it's just, it's a really gorgeous color, and um, I got it in an A5, and it's a Mia Cara, which is, there are several different types of models that Giulio, um has, and I have A5s in Campania, and, and then this is my first Mia Cara A5. And what sets the Mia Cara aside, which Mia Cara comes in all their different, um, in all their different sizes but oh, what sets it apart is that it has this pull out ring section along with the back cover and it has the back pocket it has a shit ton of pockets over here um, no secretarial pocket and then one zipper it has this over here which you know you could use this for money cash um, post-it notes stickers that sort of thing and um, this is where the pen goes. There's definitely some card slots here, one pocket, but nothing over here, and there's no pen loop. And that's not a deal breaker for me um, because there are so many easy ways to attach pens now. Um, you know, using like elastic and those uh, binder clips. So <clears throat> that really isn't a problem for me. This is a big chunk of leather. So I'll show you my black Croco A5 which has the same size rings. They come with 25 millimeter rings, which uh, for those who are curious, is this 25 millimeters the same size that a personal size um, Giulio would come with. So to me that seems a little odd, but I guess, um, you know, I guess I equate a larger planner to needing bigger rings. I don't know why, that's, that's just my kind of thing. Um, but you're talking about a ton more leather here compared to the Croco, or to, sorry, the A5 Campania. Um, with Julia, this is called the Apoca Leather. It's very soft, it's very supple. Um, I really like it. It's gorgeous. Um, the only, only other, I've had two other Apoca Leathers. It's, I've had the B6 Apunto um, in gold, and then I have had the undyed Apoca leather, both of which I've sold. So this is right now the only Apoca leather I own by Jilly, um, that Jilly, that I have of Julio. <coughs> Excuse me. So then I have two other A5s, my Black Croco and my Gray Croco Matte. Um, they're essentially, I mean, they're very similar in terms of the patterning, the pattern and so forth. But the big difference is... I did switch out my A5 Grey Krakow mat with 35 millimeter rings and I have kept the 25 millimeter in here. So I'll go into that really um, in a second. But with the A5 Campania as compared to the A5 Mia Cara, you're going to have two secretar secretarial pockets. You have a zipper over here. You have a pen loop, which as you can see, pits a pretty thick pen. You have a pocket here, some card pocket, some card slots. Um, no card slots back here, but they do have the back pocket here. Um, I find this particular, the black Krakow mat, to be absolutely gorgeous. It is so 
um, versatile in terms of I could carry this to a girls meeting or you know go to like a volunteer meeting I could go you know I can go to meetings at work um, and just easily transition and just feel completely comfortable with what I was carrying it's kind of like your like little black dress that you could just go anywhere with um, I really like this um, but my favorite a5 that I own um, which probably comes to no surprise to my Instagram followers is my gray croco mat. Um, I'd die to have this in a medium or personal size, but I don't know if that'll ever be in my cards. Um, same, you know, the card slots, two secretarials. Back here, there's a pocket. Um, and what I did do was I switched out to 35 millimeter rings, which was a pain in the butt, but I. <clears throat> to some snags but I got it figured out so life, life is good but you can see this the crazy ass difference you guys in what I'm able to accomplish now with the 35 millimeter interestingly the a5 Campania seems to actually accommodate I mean I think it probably accommodate a 30 millimeter much better but it does hold 35 millimeter there is some overhang but that's only because of my side tabs so I've already ordered top tabs and um, that'll solve that problem really fast. So then there'll be very little to no um, overhang. So you can see the 35 millimeter rings, if I hold it just dead on, you'll notice that it's just my side tabs that are like overhanging. Those are my calendar inserts. I'm in the process of experimenting um, with possibly making my A5 my everyday carry and uh, which would make my personal sizes um, no longer um, in use but then I would only need to carry on this everywhere I go. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Right now it's just being used as my work planner and it always stays at work except that um, I brought it home to do this video, so that's the only reason why it's here. Okay, the next is Jillio. I have four um, covers or planners in their personal or medium size. I have three Campania models and then one Mia Cara. So you'll notice that the three Campanias are ostrich leather. Um, Ostrich compared to the Apoca or compared to the, um, you know, Croco is incredibly different. I um, have gone into this quite a bit in some other videos, but the Ostrich is just incredibly durable. It has its own level of refinement and um, luxury to it. But at the same time, you are going to get, um, you know, it does carry with it the fact that you're carrying around an Ostrich leather. And sometimes it's just nice to have an Apoca leather that's gorgeous, but it doesn't carry this, you know, kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say snooty, but I, I do think ostrich can come off as snooty in, in the wrong, um, in certain certain cases. So I have the Anthracite, the Rosa, and the Oryx X. And this is a definitely a gray tone. It's a dark gray. Um, this one is the oldest ostrich that I own. I got it second hand from a lovely lady by the name of Deb and um, it is very similar in design features as the A5 Campania where you have secretarial, secretarial, card slots, um, then a pocket zipper and then a big back pocket. That's just the Campania. This is, there's a pen loop. Um, in two of these I switched it out to 30 millimeter rings so those um, all the the switch all the like different rings I got from Vanderspeck so the rose I still has the original gold rings that came with it and you'll see the difference um, I do think that when I do switch back into the Rosa probably in a couple months I will end up um, switching out to 30 millimeter rings, but I haven't actually used it since I got uh, the anthracite. The Rosa is the first Gilio I've ever owned. It was a splurge, but at the same time, um, I had just gotten a job offer 
Um, and so it was also a little gift to myself. So the Oryx X is a little different compared to your regular um, ostriches and um, the main difference being that the Oryx X uses leather that doesn't necessarily have bulbs on it. It's a way that so they do not have to throw out the um, ostrich that is smooth and uh, doesn't have the bulbs. So you'll see how, um, I guess some people could look naked, but you still get the durability. You still get the amazing leather, the amazing softness, but at the same time, you're gonna get a discount and I think it adds a um, you know, separate level of just um, uniqueness and I liked, I really liked how the, um, the patterns came out in this particular um, Oryx. So this is definitely more of a beige. So you know, we can compare it to even my wood floors or what else do I have around here that you could compare it to? Um, like the pinks. To me, the Oryx is a color that could really mix and match with any color. I really don't see how it... I'm trying to see what color it wouldn't go with. I think even that's kind of pretty. It just kind of picks up undertones in the different colors, and I like that. So if I had to pick between the three ostrich, um, I'd definitely be between these two, of like which one's my favorite, and they're just so different. Um, in terms of color, I gravitate towards both of them equally, so that's really hard. But um, I, I really do have a have a special spot for um, my Rosa because it was my first. And then finally, the last medium size or personal size planner is the Agilio, but it is a Mia Cara. So just as with the Lotus, it has the notebook part that comes out. The pen uh, goes here. I don't use it. Um, I switched out to 30 millimeter rings in this. This actually works a lot better with 30 millimeter rings because you don't have um, the snap that's connected to it, so it really just kind of lets you be free. I kind of, you know, if you want an analogy, you could compare it to like the Foxy Fix Spice rings, where I mean, you know, I could, I really could reasonably put an elastic around this. Um, and it, it would let you, it would allow you to add as much as you want. Um, I very rarely carry it around just like this. Um, just given my lifestyle, I don't necessarily need to do that. But um, the times I have, it's really easy to just throw it into the diaper bag. It's really nice. Um, but <clears throat> for the most part, I do use it within this. So again, back pocket. I use this for sticky notes and so forth. Stamps. I have some kind of like uh, checks and stuff in the zipper pocket. This is just decoration. Um, I didn't really clean this out for now. Yeah, I have kind of some upcoming trial dates. Um, so yeah, it really does allow you to carry quite a bit. Now before I switched out to 30 millimeter, because I will say with the Mia Cara with 25 millimeter rings, it does it did allow you to add more into it because it wasn't so contained. So I didn't necessarily need the 30 millimeter rings. I just kind of went for it because it was kind of part of my routine. And so before I did that, and I had just 20 mill 25 millimeter rings, the originals, I actually slid the Stayology. Let's take this picture out so I don't cramp Jenny. I slid uh, the Stayology into this back or the side pocket here. And you guys can see on my Instagram pictures of when I did that and when it was just 25 millimeter rings it did close so that's interesting for those of you who are really trying to carry just one thing um, you really could uh, squish it in there make sure I don't lose this my favorite picture of this okay so right now I'm really loving this I really I don't know it's hard because I always say this, but I really do love the Black Croco. Just like the A5 Black Croco, you can carry it anywhere and it just looks elegant. Um, with a little bit of sass, a little bit of bold, but not, not too much. It's still um, sophisticated and classy. 
Okay, so that's it for Julia, right? Yeah. Then in terms of, I saw my Stayology, but I did sell the Apunto to December. So I don't have that anymore. Um, and then I have two pocket sizes, which is the Louis Vuitton Koala PN. And it is the Rose Ballerine, so it has the nice blush pink. That's what I should compare it to. That pink, I should compare it to the Lotus. Let's get it out. Why not? What are we at? 15 minutes. We're good. So even that's a little different pink. I'm losing my voice bad. Ugh. I'll have to wrap this up. Um... But the, the main issue with the Koala and the PM by Louis Vuitton is that the rings are, like, ridiculous. I think they're 10, I think they're 10 millimeter. Um, and then in the Kate Spade Deborah, also pocket size is, like, I think it's 16 millimeter. So, you're really talking about, you know, what could you use the Koala for, um... You know, can you make it functional? Are you really, are, are you limiting yourself because of the rings? And I kind of felt like I was personally because, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing my financial and home planning in this and I felt like I was just trying to squish stuff in that didn't really fit and then I wasn't able to actually include the stuff I needed. So I was not necessarily doing, not necessarily doing the best job I could in terms of those, those plans and uh, tracking finances, which is a really important part of my job in terms of, um, you know, being a mom. Um, so this is gorgeous. I don't know how I could get rid of this, um, just because it is discontinued and it's hard to find, but it's really pretty. I've already talked about the Kate Spade Deborah, uh, briefly, but I really like it because larger rings, the gold hardware, um, the pockets, there's two pockets in the back, and um, pocket here, the four clock card slots, no back pocket obviously because that's more of a Jillio thing, but it just works, it's, it looks nice, um, I think it goes with a lot of different, I don't necessarily like the Krakow with, of the Kate Spade with the Jillio Krakow, but for right now it's working, um, I don't really have another pocket to go into at this point. And then last but not least is my Foxy Fixes. And I was watching um, Ruthie's video last night. And something she said really resonated with me. And it's that I think I just like the idea of a traveler's notebook. Like I like, it just seems so, like I love the floppiness. I love how it's fun to hold and, you know, switch out the inserts and, you know, decorate and um, make it yours. But it really just doesn't work for me. And it's a bummer. It's a bummer because I've spent a lot of money on it. It's a bummer because I keep buying it because I want to like it, but I don't. Um, and what I've kind of narrowed my collection down to is these three. And so I, my favorite size in Traveler's Notebooks is, has always been the standard or number six size. That's been ever since I found Ink Imperfections YouTube videos. I'll link her down below, but she's just um, was quite quite inspiration for me to get the number sixes. So I have the lush only lush um, the lush leathers remind me of the old this old uh, the discontinued moccasin leathers that Foxy Fix offered. I have since sold my cream moccasin uh, to a lady who really was vying for it, and she I could tell she really was going to use it, and that's kind of what motivated me to say, hey, you know, you can let go of this. So I have a number three, which is an A6 size. I have my Stayology in here. This is like 90% blank, every single insert in here, because I just use it. It's by my bedside. I write in it if, you know, it's, it strikes me that I want to write, um, and I'm in bed. My number six is, um, I just have my same inserts that I've always had in here, and it's just like lists and so forth. So... Nothing that, like, I have crazy to-do lists, like, crazy, crazy to-do lists that, um, for whatever reason, the size just really caters to that for me. 
I have some Tumble River paper. Um, I'm just kind of jotting out my dreams, my thoughts, like how I can make certain... Um, I actually did like a... At the end of last year, I did a list of all my paper purchases ever that year and added it up and that was traumatizing so I don't think I'll do that again but <laughs> it was crazy um and then I have a resources where I had like a ton of notes everywhere like in all my different planners and I just took them all out and copied them into this um this nice Tomo River paper insert so just like with all my foxies that I've ever bought directly from Jillio I have the goal or uh, the embossed Times New Roman S. Oopsies. And then these are both rose gold, and then I have the blind emboss here. And I just always, I always do that. I think at one point I did try heart a heart once, and I just, it just didn't feel like me. I really like the S. So. All right, guys, that's my collection. Um. You know, the next couple weeks here, I am going to take a moment and um, figure out which ones I really do want to keep. I think I, I've i already made the decision that I am going to be selling some of these because I just can't reasonably keep them, um, you know, when I really should only have a few. I don't, I just, it kind of feels silly to have so many um, when I really only use one at a time. So with that, feel free to ask me any questions, but otherwise I really appreciate you guys watching. A5 Gray Cock Crackle Mat, I use it for a work project planner, meeting notes, that sort of thing. Black Crackle Mat. The medium size uh, Rosa in Real Ostrich. The uh, medium size Campania in the Oryx X. Medium size Campania in the Great Anthracite. Just for comparison, I think that's really cool. The Medium Yakara in Black Croco. And then the LV Koala in Rose Ballerine. And I'm gonna forget anything, I have the A5 Lotus in here. I want to take that out, and then I have my three foxy fixes. So, oh, my Kate Spade Deborah, can't forget her. Um, so anyhow, I really appreciate you guys watching. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like. S M Plans. My next video is going to be a uh, video where I share my screen and I run through my financial uh, planning process and how I uh, maximize our savings every month while also um, being able to enjoy my hobbies and provide for my family. So, hope you guys are having a good week. Bye.